in the house? All right, let's. Okay, yeah, guys, bring him in. welcome bring to him Kevin. In. All right, shout out Kevin Samuels in the house, man. Welcome, Kevin. Oh, What's man. going on, people? Yo, What's good, up, man? Good. Um, hey. Hi. Hi, ladies. How are you? Hi. 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 One, so we're talking about two different things. One, part of image called digital footprint. Once it's on the internet, it's forever. Mm. And um, I don't know how you and your backgrounds, but I would tell you as an image professional, people have spent upwards of $100,000 to remove everything off the internet and they still can't get it done. Um, find me a Fortune 2000 CEO that is happy to have naked pictures of his woman out there. Men care. We are territorial. So just like the one woman who says the, the two married, the married people there, um, that's anecdotal. And one thing I, I want to ask all the women there, Myron's been trying to give you what men think, and you've been pushing back. Why is it so hard for you ladies to accept that we think differently than you do? Mm -hmm. We can start hearing. Yeah, you can hear around. you guys yeah. if you guys okay. talking to Mike. You can start hearing and then go around. Okay. So, I mean, it's not hard to accept that. It's just saying us women, we have our own opinion as well. So, I mean, I accept a man's opinion and how he feels, but like how I said, I'm not going to go for the guy that thinks that way. I'm, I'd rather stay single and find somebody that thinks the way I do. And well, so, let me, okay. So, so understand something. You control access to sex, we control access to relationships and marriage. So, it's not your choice. Mm -hmm. It's the man's choice, and it's the man that accepts right. me. Right, right. So mm -hmm. we're not talking about a man that you don't value. See, a man that you value, a woman values. See, this all sounds well and good for when you're in a power position with a man and you can take him or leave him. But what about a man that you want? I don't want a man that doesn't want me. I'm sorry to say. See, so you could this ask is, uh, this, that question, though. But okay, not, well, well, what so basically, you what you've said is you haven't met a man that you value higher than yourself. Um, I've met a man that I value higher than myself, but I wasn't ready around that time because I was not just not ready. Now that I look back at it, I'm like, okay, I should have valued that man because he was good enough for me because he accepted me for who I am. But coming <laughs> across other men that are not like that. I mean, I'm not going to take a guy that doesn't accept me for who I am. I'm just going to be like, okay, on to the next one to the man that actually accepts me for who I am. So uh -huh. if you ask a different woman this question that actually wants to pursue a man that is she's interested in and doesn't like her for what she does, then she might just give you the answer that you're looking for. But for I'm me, not, I'm looking for, actually, no. I'm looking for, the, and what I'm looking for is the truth and then how well you ladies That's understand. That's my truth. But okay, I'm being see, honest. Okay, okay. What I'm looking for, I'll let you speak. Can I, can I have the opportunity, please? Yes, sir. What I'm looking for is not your truth. I'm looking for the truth. The truth is not really subjective. And so that's one thing that with modern women today, I mentioned on my program, whenever you press modern women, it tends to get the truth becomes subjective, variable, or extreme. Now, now with you say you're not looking for a particular man, that's fine. But my, my thing is this, when women are looking to finally settle down and be found by someone, men think different than you do especially men with options. Mm, I agree. I agree with that. But there's different women, different personalities, and different people in this world. So like how I said before, I'm sticking to what I'm saying. I'm not like most of women. Of course, but of course. You are, but that, a woman that is like that, of course, she's going to be like, well, yeah, I want to settle down. And well, I want to like, I, said, like I, I said, it's always, it, 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 how do you? I'm not, I'm 27. Not. Okay. Um, you you'll think differently probably by thirty seven. No, I've already thought about this. I already told myself mm -hmm. if I don't find anybody that accepts me for who I am, I'm just gonna go to sperm bank and just raise a child myself. But mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> oh. this, is, this is the buy a dog die alone, and and guess what? You're free to have that. You're free but to I have love, those. I love who I am. That's the beautiful. That's the beautiful thing about this country. Women are free to buy dogs, have sperm bank children, and die alone. No one's going to stop you. But I'm talking about the kind and caliber of men that you women would want. See, like I said, again, this is easy to say when you're in a power position, you're still at the peak or closer to the peak of your hotness. But 10 years from now, uh, it will change. It always does. Halle Berry is complaining about child support and bitching about having to pay money. And I don't think anybody on this panel was hotter than Halle Berry was and not, not, not the hottest person, hottest woman in the world four years in a row, four years running. So I don't know. See my mother grow 
But a man. I mean, I don't know. Like I've seen my mother with grow and uh she's been in two marriages and she was not posting her ass out there and she got tried by my stepfather and my dad too. And I mean, like, I've seen how my mother has been always a good woman and these men, well, men in general, certain men, not all men, because I can't say all men are the same. I'm not going to be sexist or biased in that sense. But I'm just going to say that some men, most men, most men don't appreciate somebody. So I see my mother raise me the type of woman that I am. And she's always told me, you don't need somebody to define you. So if you want to have somebody. What does your mother do for a living? My mom's an eye surgeon. What's your, what's your father? What would you say? Your stepfather? My stepfather. Yeah. What about him? What did he do? He owns a corporate company for cement. Okay. So your mother was an exceptional earner. Yeah, she was an exceptional earner. Okay, all right. So her options and your options and most women's options are different. So your mother raised you to have, and you can believe what you want. I'm, I'm not trying to change what you believe, but what I'm trying to understand is how often do you modern women understand how men think? And see, that's what Myron, what Myron was getting to push back. I'm, I'm hearing mom. anecdotal, my mom, my this, my that. Do you understand how men think? I do. I have a conversation with my father all the time. That's one man. Because mm -hmm. I don't, the most no way, if you guys truly understood how men think, the amount of pushback you guys are giving Myron would have been much less. But see, this is what happens when you tend to speak to women who are younger and kind of around the peak of their hotness. You are, at the, you, you can, the world is still your oyster. Now, if you want to make examples based upon an eye surgeon, all right, but I don't know many people whose mothers are eye surgeons, but most women need a man to get from one point of life to another because you earn less than us. The average median income for the woman in this country is 25123 The average man is $36,000 a year. You need two incomes. So most people can't get to the end of life. So this whole variable notion about I'll just have a baby on my own, such and so forth, unless you're talking about making one hundred and fifty dollars to $200,000 for the rest of your life, I don't know how you plan on doing that comfortably. That's the goal. I have though. a quick question. That's the goal. What are your high income skills, though? <laughs> I'm studying cybersecurity, um, engineering, and I, may, I can make up to 120 to 200K a year. So I'm. Okay. Okay. And I'm, and a, I'm a chemical person. engineer. I and mean, I'm going to tell you that's oh, still. Okay, that that's is. Fine. That is. But I may, when I, hmm, But that's the no, That's But that's not the norm. And see. Hmm. And but, what I what I hear from a lot of modern women is you've cherished you cherish your independence more than you cherish what a man brings to the table. It's like if a man can't pay his way, pay 100 percent of the way for you guys, he's not useful. Well, I think you guys are going to realize something in the next 10 years that the world has so told you that you can have it all. You can't. Life is about choices and trade offs for us all. I have a quick question. Go ahead. Um, so uh, piggybacking on the idea that she said that uh, she'd like to raise a kid on her own. What about those women that didn't necessarily, because we're talking about like whole comparison things. So what about the women that didn't choose to raise a kid on their own? Yeah. Like, yeah, right? so, me, like, like obviously. So like, for example, example. it's a guy. Okay, you're asking me. Uh, well, you and like everyone on well, the first of all, <laughs> controversial. First of all, women of, of the 50 plus percent divorce rate, Women are filing 70, 80 percent of all divorces. Women are choosing to wreck their own homes every day. Men are not choosing to wreck their own homes and make women single parents. That's a choice that women are making. Uh, why? Because their husbands are trash, treating them badly. Yeah, this is the, OK, now, you, now here we go with the ad hominem stuff. Here we go, here we go with the same old tropes. Here we go with the same old tropes. Yeah, this is, this is, this is, this is the same shit that's been piped into this. This is the same stuff. Listen, listen, if you got a point, one at a time. Cool. One at a time, though. Yeah. This is the same stuff that's been piped into the culture forever. That when a woman chooses to break her home, it's always the man's fault. I was more so asking a question from like the child's like first day of birth, right? Children have birth certificates and it's the woman's like responsibility to sign it. It's not the man's responsibility to sign it. They don't have to sign it. Like wait, 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 So I, I was asking. Oh, no, 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 that's not true. Okay. It's so not true. I, like, if no, don't, hold on. This? It's not ma'am. That's not true. Okay. If you're married, it is your responsibility to sign your child's birth certificate. But if you're not, is what I asked. That's the point. You should marry before you carry. That's an opinion. 
That's not a that's not an opinion. That's facts. It, it's statistically who's the psychology major? Who's the psychology person on the panel? <laughs> Children do better in a two parent household in general. Yes or no? Yes. Thank you. But I don't I don't understand what that necessarily is. because it, because a child has the opt because the union of marriage is one of the best <laughs> institutions a, a human beings have to date for the rearing of children. It's prime it's a primary reason. So this whole see this whole notion about I have opinions, but I also have like the psychological like you know what I'm saying like there's, there's an opinion and you there's understand what I, what, I, what and see what I'm what you're still hearing is a lot of women on the panel who understand your points of view. But um, you're hearing less and less about anything from men. It's always, every time I've asked a question about a man, it's been something negative, something detracting. It's not, nothing has been positive. I just simply asked a question in regards to like, because you said, um, oh, do you expect to make a hundred to 200,000 to support that child um, in regards to Valentina? So I was just curious, like what you think about the women who don't have a choice in that? Mm -hmm. Well, you do have a choice. You just don't like your you don't like your choices. You chose the man you laid down and made a baby with. You chose to bring a child into the world for that man. Then you can choose to do your duty. But psychologically, like we were speaking okay, earlier. So, the, so, the, the, so hold on. But, 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 but again, those are your choices. See, those are choices. And if and right now, again, I want you guys to go back and clip this. Every time I've talked about a man, there's been something negative. Or, or or downside yet to hear anything positive about anything regarding a man relationship or the benefit of a man and a woman working together. Does that have more to say about the man or us though? Right. Yeah. Because if we have nothing positive to say, then in our experience, there's been nothing positive. Well then, well, if that's the case, you've picked them. Mm. So everything is the cho our, our choice, right? Yes. Yes, yeah, so well, you chose. Well, yes, you picked. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. You because just like every man you've chosen, there have been other men who may have been suitable, but you may not. He's not tall enough. He's not this. He's not that. There are no women on this panel that are hideous. You get to pick. See what you cannot do is what women typically try to do: absolve themselves from all accountability and consequence. I believe that everybody gets consequences for what they choose to do. However, really, what I don't hear any on this panel. She just said, what did you say? What about the women who didn't do this, this, this? What about the mothers who didn't, didn't choose to be anything. this? I didn't list anything. I specifically asked you a question in regards to children. I said the one who just spoke before you. Oh, okay. He's just, I, I like yeah. how he talks over. <laughs> Valentina, <laughs> no, I feel like I can't even say yeah, you can't get a word in. So okay. Valentina, you had a question, right? Um, uh, wait, what were you? As a single mom, as a single mom. Okay, yeah, as a single mom, I agree with him saying like, okay, like I chose to lay down, and you know, for the man or whatever. But when you're saying like, oh, I chose to like, like give birth to the kid, like, what about if you found out you were pregnant when you were seven months pregnant? Because that was my situation. Like, it was like, you're having the baby or you're like, that's just your responsibility. Like, it's just, there's, or giving up the baby for adoption, but that's like, that, I'm, I wasn't going to do that. Like, that's more like, you know, like. Sorry, how does that Well, happen? hold on. So first of all, so oh, to answer sorry. your question, <laughs> most women don't find out they're pregnant in month seven. Huh? I mean, that's just not the norm, especially with all medical technology today. You know, you have a monthly cycle. It does not come. That's usually... Trick one. There are many options down that path. But again, you find out you had a baby on the way. You did have the option to give it up for adoption. You just chose not to exercise that. Still a choice. Oh, okay. I agree. And then you were saying something about marriage certificate, right? That the the somebody no, has no, to I sign. was asking about the birth certificate. I asked why in most cases it's the mother's responsibility to take care of a child instead of the fathers because we were talking about men and women so i was just asking in yeah. that instance usually like the court the court system looks immediately to the woman no not true and the thing is if you have a child and you're married and the divorce is not final 11 months before the child is married the father's name goes on excuse me let me finish my example well, just let him finish and then you can make your point if you're married and to find yourself divorced and your ex-wife has a baby less than 11 months after you're pregnant, after your divorce is final, the father's name, the husband's name goes on the, the ex-husband name goes on the birth certificate. That's federal law. Okay. 
So it's not, so it doesn't just automatically default to a woman. The man's name is on a birth certificate. My name ended up on a birth certificate with an ex wife that way. Like the majority, we're talking about the majority. Not everyone has children after they get married. And you guys are focusing on the, the relationships that come from marriage. But and, that's a choice. And you have children. It's a choice if a woman has a child before she's married or after. That's a 100% her choice. He's trying to say the woman has to take accountability that she had the child out of wedlock and what comes with that. That's what he's saying. But why don't the men? That's what I'm asking. Because, 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 because let me, I'll answer this. I'll answer this. I'll answer this. Yeah, because, because this is, this is what, okay. Does a man, can a man force a woman to have a child if she chooses, she does not want to carry it to term? Well, then a, it is a woman's choice when a life is, when a child is born in this country. Men have no rights after conception. My mother was a single mother and she will tell you she believes the same thing I do. She chose to not get married before she had me and she chose the the, concept, the circumstances in which she raised a child. He's right on that. Mm. He's right on that cuz it's our choice as women. That's it's he's right on that cuz it's our choice as women. I agree. We make that choice and I agree that we make those yeah. conscious decisions but what I'm yeah. saying is you can't control like the fate of No, I I get happening. what you're coming from. Like you're basically stating like Okay, um, I had sex with this person. Why can't they take responsibility too? I get that. But like, it's also a man's choice if he doesn't want to be there, but it's also your choice if you want to keep it. Right, I was just off of the, the psychological aspect like they were talking about earlier. Like he said, it's a man's choice. No, what it comes down to is, let's just keep it a stack, man. I'm going to just say it because everyone else is too scared to say it. Most women don't have any type of accountability when it comes to child rearing, having children, every and the consequences that come with it. You pick who you have sex with. You pick women have unilateral control on who gets born in the United States. Men have zero access to that. So if you're a single mom, it's your fault. And then on top of that, let's also add on that women initiate 80 percent of divorces and most breakups. So it's not that the father isn't in the life. A lot of the time he's not allowed to be in the child's life. If we're going to keep it a stack, you know what I'm saying? Agree. That's true. I agree with you because so, I know some women like that. Yeah. I understand what you're and saying. And a lot of women yeah. use the child as a pivotal point to exercise leverage mm -hmm. to cause pain in the man's life. It happens sure. all the time. This is why, this is why marrying before you carry, because in the example you were given, what about if a woman does this? Most time when a man is having sex with a woman, it is not to get her pregnant. They're having casual sex. It's not like he said, you know what, let's have sex and I want you to be the mother of my child. If a woman, if, and that's and this is the thing where I tell men, don't trust a woman on birth control. You better bag up twice because if she gets pregnant, you lose. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You lose because it, it doesn't matter what she said before. it. After she's pregnant, you lose all rights because this is 100% her control. See, I believe in a world where women have freedom of choice. You choose to be a mother, choose not to be a mother. But then I also believe in a world where men have the right to do a financial abortion. You can kill a baby. I should not be able to have to take care of it if you choose to make me a father when I don't want to be one. That's understandable. That's true. But it's circumstantial, like I said before, in my opinion. Well, but here's the thing. Let's be real. If the child support system was fair to where if a woman chose to, a man could actually sign off his rights, not be financially responsible, not have you come afterwards. Do you think the, the out of wedlock birth rate would stay steady, increase or decrease? Decrease. Thank you. Mm. Because he's right. He's 100 percent right on that one. And we're also right. Hey guys, I got to run. I'm, I got to see you guys later. Appreciate oh, it. Well, I'll okay. be around in a couple of weeks, too. This is, this is going to be fun. Hey. Hey. All right, Kevin. Thank you, Kevin. Appreciate it for coming out. We got 6,250 live viewers. See, you guys weren't talking about that smack before when he came on. You guys want to be all uh, quiet now. No, but I noticed you were laughing. Yeah, because I knew he was going to cook you guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, 